Welcome back. We promised we'd get back to this story you'll see only on nine. The father of the driver from the fatal prom night crash in Monroe is sharing his daughter's story this evening. Nine on your sides, Kristen Swilly joins us now with what he wants the community to know. Kristen. Yes, well, Dickie Brandon says he wants people to know his daughter is remorseful and carries the pain of what happened in April with her every single day. Now he's hoping all of the families involved can heal. It's for me, it's, it's comfort, you know what I mean? And um, it's something that gets me through. Once a month, Dickie Brandon comes to this stretch of Millican Road. He leaves flowers and reflects on the day that his life changed forever. I get real emotional still. Um, when I go out there, uh, uh, <clears throat> because I know that my daughter, um, you know, I know my daughter would want me to do that. His daughter, China, was behind the wheel in the crash that killed 17-year-old Kaylee Jackson. The teens were headed to prom. This was her close friend, if not best friend. You know, uh, they played together. They interacted all the time. Which is part of why the last few months have been so difficult. It's hard. It's hard listening to it because, you know, one of the parents said that China wasn't remorseful and I couldn't understand why that comment was made because she has been remorseful from the very beginning. He also knows there's no escaping her mistakes. She was driving nearly 100 miles an hour when the crash happened. China had a responsibility that day and no matter what someone else in the car was saying, her responsibility was to make sure that she drove the speed limit and to make sure that everyone in that car had their seatbelt on. He knows nothing he says will bring Kaylee Jackson back. He does hope one day people will be able to forgive his daughter. It's a sentence in itself, that, a sentence that she has to live with the rest of her life. And it's not easy. China Brandon was sentenced to a rehabilitation and treatment facility in Xenia, where she will spend the less, less at least the next six months.